Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a pleasure to participate in the uh, LINK conference. And this is a dream meeting for all the neural interventionists and all around the world. And I am honored to be a part of it. And today I would like to, to, to bring you the experience of using the Avenir coil from the Wallaby and Medical, as you know, in the manufacturing of the uh, neural interventional products in China and has been developing rapidly in the past few years. But there were many new products such as the, the catheter, guide wire, cheese, and every year. Um, however, only a few companies can master the techniques of manufacturing the, the coils. So Wallaby is one of them. And now this type of coils uh, it, it has passed the phase three uh, clinical trials and is available in the market right now. So let's take a look at the experience of using the coil uh, today. So in April 2022, the Wallaby Medical completed acquisition of the Phenox. This is the leader of the German international industry. So let's take a look at the design of the, the Avenir coils. A, a unique feature of this uh, Avenir coil is the, the reduced first loop diameter. And this means that the first one and a half loops of the coils have a smaller diameter than the rest of the coil and function as the distal anchor loops. And this significantly reduces the risk of uh, coil herniation as well as, the, uh, as well as facilitates the easier and less traumatic uh, deployment of the, the first coil. And the second picture uh, is shown by this video. You can see that um, the framing coil displays a exceptional framing effect with the a excellent wall up position and implant distribution uh, to allow for a, a really dense and a straightforward packing with the finishing coils uh, by creating a stable outer cage. And the coil has also have the ability to to recover uh, to to cover the aneurysm's neck, and last uh, there are the super soft finishing coils available, which have an excellent ability to to find open spaces that uh, helps prevent the uh, compartmentalization and allow a real a really dense packing of the aneurysm. And furthermore, uh, we can see. The coils have an ultra short connection area that helps stabilize the, 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 the catheter and reduce the uh, microcatheter kickback. And another unique feature uh, is the uh, mechanical uh, detachment system, which I will explain more in the next slides. And however, the, this detachment system is handled free and easy to use and absolutely reliable with an instantaneous uh, detachment and without the risk of uh, premature detachment. So we can see this slide. This slide shows how the coils are detached in vivo and uh, in vitro. Uh, essentially, this is a simple four step process. The first step is uh, holding the distal part of the pusher at the marker. And the second step is bending the, the pusher in the middle between these two markers. When the pusher snaps, pull the distal marker back, and you can see a wire, a very thin wire uh, being pulled out. That indicates that coil has been detached. And if you compare the, the uh, mechanical detachment system between the Avenir and the other available coils in the clinical practice. Uh, if you compare the, the, the mechanical detachment system between the Avenir and the other available coils in the, the clinical practice, you can see the a big advantage of the Avenir coil is that you don't need uh, a handle or another uh, external devices uh, to, 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 to manipulate the coil. And this brings us a lot of convenience uh, just as the, the iPhone does not need a, a stylus. Uh, on the other hand, these extra detached devices may lead to the problem of coil dislocation. Besides, the time of detachment is much shorter with the Avenir coils. And you can see in the last column of the connection zone is also significantly shorter than the other coils. 
again here the the comparison of the connection zone between the the avenue coils and the other coils we can see the avenue coil have by far the shortest junction zone and i as i re already mentioned the shorter the junction zone the less the influence of the kicking out phenomena of the microcatheter so the avenue coils uh, caused only minimal microcatheter kickback if any at all now let's take a look at the, the, the product line of this series of coils. Uh, we can see uh, they have an 18 system coils which are designed for the for the framing. And so it can provide uh, excellent aneurysm neck coverage and anti-impact frames against the, the blood flow. And the 18 system uh, is fit for the medium to large aneurysm flaming demands. And they also have the 10 system coils combined with framing and filling and finishing uh, function. And 10 system is fit for the, the small space filling or small or micro or, or medium sized aneurysms or irregular aneurysms to, to go to the dense embolization. And now they have the, the new series of 10 CFS, and which is suitable for all framing, uh, filling or, and finishing. Uh, so and you can see and this chart shows a over or uh, uh, over overview of over the six uh, con uh, uh, collections and their uh, uh, respective uh, characteristics and the framing coils are one of the uh, are of more stable and less softer as compared to the finishing and the filling coils which have a greater softness and le but less uh, uh, stability. Okay, I will show you some cases. Uh, which I, which we did in the past few years. And this case one is the 42-year-old female, right-handed, and chief complaints had it for, for one month. And a physical examination showed no abnormality. And this is a typical, and you can see this is a, from the DSA, this is a right ICA, ophthalmic aneurysm. This is a wide neck, irregular aneurysm. We can see there is a, a da uh, daughter sac on the, in the tip of the, the dome. And we our strategy is the amnia coils with the Elvis stand. We use the stand assistance technique. And this is the post-operative image. We can see very nice uh, display of the, of the coils and the aneurysm was obliterated very, very well. And this is the second case. This is a 57 year old uh, female. She's right-handed. And chief complaint is also dizziness for, for three months. Here from the 3D image, we can see this is a left fecal aneurysm. This is a irregular aneurysm, but this is a, a, a narrow neck aneurysm, but the pecan was involved. So we just use the amnia coils to, 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 do, to, to perform the, the coiling without the stent assistance technique. So we just insert maybe 10, uh, six to seven coils to, to embolize this aneurysm. And we can see very good obliteration of the aneurysm post-operatively. And this patient here, we can see this is the purely uh, coiled with the avenue coils without any other uh, uh, coils. And this, this is case three. This is a 48 year old female, also right-handed. She found the intracranial aneurysms uh, by physical examination two months ago. Here we can also see this is the, from the image, this is a right ICA, also a of some aneurysm. This is a, a, a little, a, a small aneurysm. We, by wide neck, we use the amnio coils with the Elvis stand. This is also a, a stand assistance technique, uh, a, a case. We can see good compact, uh, compact uh, obliteration of the aneurysm with the coils and the, the, the Elvis stand, very nice uh, result. So next, I we use some, some videos. And this is a post-operative image. We can see the operation of the aneurysm, the ICA patent. Uh, here, we, we use some videos to show the process of using the uh, avenue coils. And this is the video of framing. You can see that the, the uh, avenue coil is very stable during the uh, framing procedure, and it can automatically uh, adjust itself to the aneurysm's morphology 
while having a good balance of the softness and the, the formability. And this video shows the process of feeding the coils. And we can see the avenue coil can seek for the space by themselves. And the distribution uh, of the coils looks very good. And we can also see that the, the performance uh, of the avenue coils uh, during the finishing process is also very satisfactory. You can see the microcaster is very stable and no kickoff uh, phenomenon uh, if we, uh, when we insert the, the last coil. This slide in, uh, showed the, our clinical trial in uh, 2018 to 2019. We conduct a large scale of the clinical RCT on the safety and the efficacy of the avenue coils. And at that time, 12 large domestic uh, cerebrovascular disease centers in China participate in this study, such as us and the uh, Tiantan Hospital in, in, our, in our capital. And in total, 324 patients uh, were enrolled in this study and the coil selected for the control group at that time was the, 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 the axiom uh, uh, coils from the Medtronic, which is the most commonly used coils in, in, in China. And this study showed the, the, uh, an overall successful uh, detached rate of the avenue coil was the 100%, which is very ideal. And according to this study, and the, the overall occlusion rate at uh, six months after the aneurysm embolization uh, with the avenue coil was uh, similar to that we using the, the axiom coils. And the incidence of AE at six and 12 months uh, postoperatively was also similar between these two groups. So the overall efficacy of the avenue coil was similar to that of the axiom coils. Uh, the advantage of the avenue coil is the it's deta detachment uh, mechanism uh, which uh, and implant and delivery system are also the, the key points and the avenue coils can offer the excellent overall performance um, comparable to various international or domestic coils and it is also reliable and instant and can impress the users with the, the meaning of the gold coils and in this slide, uh, the, we show the, the Wallaby have uh, recently developed a, a new distal access caster. Um, it's called the, the Aspirance, which is a new product in the Wallaby's intracranial aneurysm solution. And this combination will result in a smoother and a safer procedure for the treatment of the intracranial aneurysms. Okay, that's all. Thank you.